I'm Alex from Soil Mesa, Georgia, and we're in the middle of July right now. And this video is probably not gonna come out for another couple of weeks. Uh, I'm just recording early because I'm having back surgery in a couple of days, and I don't think I'll be getting around my garden as easily as I am right now. But after a couple of months, I should be getting around a lot better than I am right now, the point of the surgery. All right, enough about that, wah, wah. Uh, I've got some good things and some bad things going on in my garden. I'm starting with the good. I'm up on my hill, and so I'm going to show uh, I have watermelon, spaghetti squash, and uh, cucumbers down there. So I'm going to flip the camera around and give a, a little bit quicker tour than I did last month. See if y'all can stick around and uh, give me some tips because I have some questions, and uh, hopefully, y'all can learn something from me too. The first thing we're gonna look at is my watermelon, which I'm really happy with. It's a sugar baby watermelon. Look at this guy here. He is growing. He was, he was really small last month and he's starting to take some good shape now. He's, there are a couple of them going on, growing up here. I don't even know if I can find it. Yeah, there's one here. So it'll focus in for me. Uh, there's one right there, another one above here, somewhere that, yeah, there's one back, back in here, so. They're coming around. If I can get, that's two different plants I have in this container. If I can get three or four this summer, I'll be pretty happy. So that's that's that one. What is going crazy here, which I love, is my spaghetti squash. This is a winter squash. Got some dead leaves over here, which I haven't done any cleaning up. I'm just, I'm way behind schedule on, on gardening and doing stuff because I'm trying to prepare for my back surgery. Again, whining. Uh, but look at this. This is, uh, the biggest one. I have another one growing over here, uh, but I, I've got, oops, there we go, focus slowly. I've got so many blooms on here. Some of these are blossoming. I know a lot of them are male flowers, so they'll come off, but it really looks good. How long it's getting, the trellis is holding it up fine. Uh, it could be better, but it's working for what I did. Uh, so some of the questions I have, I said I was gonna ask for some tips. Some of these leaves are starting to yellow down here. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera well enough, but let me know if there's anything y'all can give me tips of. I know it's getting eaten a little bit over here. That one, you can tell that one's eaten up some. Uh, I'm way behind on neem oil because it has been raining in the afternoons every day and it just seems like a waste to put it on and then have it wash off the next day. This is my cucumber. <laughs> Look at the size of this guy. Uh, I'm going to pick it today. It, it might even be too big now to, to have all the flavor I want, but it's it really looks good and I've got some other small ones coming back here um, two of them on that one that are they're coming in so it looks like I know there were some bees out here those of y'all who follow us on Instagram have seen the pictures I've posted of uh, the pollinators out here the other thing other insects that seem to be helping with the pollination are ants I've got ants everywhere I don't know if that's gonna catch it here there's some ants crawling around in there and they seem to just they're not doing any harm i don't think they're doing any any damage to the plants from what i've read they will come behind the aphids and clean up the nectar there they're attracted to the sweetness of the the nectar but they're all over they're actually less than they were now that i say it uh but you can see them kind of crawling around there there used to be just swarms of them and i wash them off with a hose sometimes if i get out here early enough in the day right about when the, before the sun's coming up to, to help them dry. But I think they're helping with the pollination too. I've, I've read that and I'm assuming everything you see on the internet is real and truthful. That's a joke. Uh, but look at all the flowers on this guy. This is back to the cucumber as I wander around here. So many flowers on here. I think I'm about to be in cucumber heaven soon. Uh, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip down to the lower side and uh, Give a tour down, give the rest of the tour down there. I'm going in the reverse order that I did last tour, just because I am, but I still love this comfrey. Comfrey, uh, the leaves are massive. I add it as it grows. I take clippings, put them in a compost pile. This one, I don't know if the container's too small. It's getting a lot more brown spots on it. So I'm gonna let it go because it, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I think next year I'm gonna put it in a bigger container like this uh, mineral feeder I have over here, the blue mineral feeder. Uh, it has been great, a ton of soil in there. It's uh, really just working as, as well as I hoped. 
my peppers have been great. Although, give me some tips on this too. It's, this is apparently more of a, an education for me tour than it is maybe for y'all. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, these peppers, that's actually, I'll have to pick one today. They get to this stage and they still feel really firm. And on green peppers, on my regular bell peppers, I always let them go longer. But these, by tomorrow, this guy will start showing some um, rot on here or the bugs will get to it either way. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that off today. But look at this on my bell peppers. They're really, come on camera. They're really starting to look great. I've got one that's coming off today. This is gonna come off today. Uh, I'm doing a lot of cooking before my surgery, so I'll be able to incorporate a lot of this in whatever I'm making. I've got chili going right now in the crock pot, and I should have put some of these in. These are awesome. I, this is the first year I've grown these Greek peppers, and they are so flavorful. I have two, uh, yeah, two that I've planted this year, and they are just, look at how many are on here. The other one I cleaned out as well. That's another example. That's, uh, Starting to rot on the bottom of this one, if I can get, even get behind here. Uh, or, yeah, down here. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if, if y'all know. It, it's this, I thought, you see that one better. I thought that was turning because it was hitting on the, the rail here. And it's been so hot this summer. I mean, obviously summer, but it's been in the 90s a few times. And I think that, that cheap metal cage is just heating up so much that it hasn't been good for the uh, fruits on there. But again, just my regular bell pepper. These are coming in. Uh, that's a great one. I didn't see that one earlier when I was walking through. So I'm really happy. These are all bell peppers in this one. I've got a ton of peppers. I need to figure out what else I can do. Maybe some, some stuffed peppers. Uh, my tomatoes are still doing okay. But the biggest thing with my tomatoes, as soon as they get about, see this one is, is getting red here. It's starting to get red on the top. And I'd love to leave it on here another two or three days before I pick it, but the birds and the squirrels have been eating me alive out here, eating the, the fruits alive. I just got some plastic bags I'll put on, uh, not plastic, I guess they're plastic, but some kind of protective bags. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that uh, in a few weeks if they work, but I need something that's gonna protect it better. The cherry tomatoes, Susie just cleaned house on these the other day. There were so many, there were more than I could eat. My son doesn't eat them, but even now they are uh, packed up here. I don't know if that's gonna, if I can even find them on this. I have a little, there we are. They're all over up here and I, they're really more than I can eat. I've got a, a whole shelf uh, counter full of them inside and I'm, I need to pick some more probably this afternoon or tomorrow. This is the dead plant I had that was dying last month. It's pretty much dead now. I had a great suggestion on a comment last month to put some uh, cover on the, the pot because it's probably getting too hot. The amount of soil in there, it's not uh, uh, dissipating, is that the word? Somebody, I don't know the word I'm trying to think of. It's not spreading out the heat enough in there. And so it's just getting cooked. And I got something to put around it. It was all ready and it's still sitting inside. So I just haven't, I love the tip, just haven't used it. So maybe. Maybe this month I'll actually use the tips I get because now what I'm going to do, well, there's some growth coming back. I keep getting hopeful. I see some growth, something looks green, but that's going to start dying. I'm going to just pull that out and I let it go a little longer. Well, you know, now I'm saying that and this down here looks healthy. So I think I might take out the big stem here. If I cut this out and let the small ones go, that might be okay. But my plan was, and it probably still is, I'm gonna take a sucker off of, I've got so many suckers left. I'm gonna take a sucker off of my, um, uh, one of my good tomatoes and put it out here. Blueberries have kind of passed their fruiting time. So that's small blueberry, a bigger blueberry. In here, This I talked about this uh, a month or two ago. I planted some basil as a companion crop and that's really looking good. It smells so good. Um, Wow, yeah, it's awesome. So I need to put that in something I'm cooking. This is where another one of the problems is. I don't even think I need help on this. I'm just gonna explain it. The storms we've had recently were in uh, Georgia and north, uh, north side of Atlanta, or at least I am, and, or Susie is too, just in a different part. And the shelf up here is where I had all my tomato plants. This one over here fell backwards so it's got something I've got, uh, I'll show, whip around here. I've got a little piece of bamboo helping to, to hold that one up. 
but then I also have a big piece up here that is helping to, to stabilize a little bit. Just, it got so top heavy. These were uh, about eight feet tall at the top, maybe, yeah, seven feet is the last time I measured it, and I got a little bit taller, so probably a little couple more inches. But it fell over, broke a lot of them, so I've got a bunch of dead ones. This I need, this is hanging on. It's broken right here, pretty bad, but it's, I'm letting it go. And so I've, I've kind of just let some stuff go out here. These two that I started with, sorry about my finger there. These two are, um, ones that fell backwards i put them back up there in the middle of a storm then they fell forwards and i was like you know what i don't need to be lifting anything else with my back and after friday i won't be able to lift anything anyway after my surgery so i decided to leave them down here and i don't really care about if it kills the grass because it's my yard and i can do what i want uh, <laughs> the advantage of uh of owning a home and uh they are hanging in there but i've got a bunch of dead stuff and it's just they were thriving and now they're not so it's, it's upsetting for that but also the squirrels are getting to stuff susie put a lot of these little uh glow things around here helping me out feeling bad for me i have these are kind of shiny objects and there are a couple of them that have chimes on them but they're still okay i'm still getting some good fruit out of there i mean it's it's really to the point where i don't have enough tomatoes to share with my neighbors like i was hoping but i do have enough for me so that's that's at least good uh, that is it back here. I'm gonna go up and show the front yard and uh, while I'm transitioning let's see if I can show a picture of some of the damage the squirrels did the other day when I was I was about to pick a couple of these and three of my best tomatoes I saw on the ground. Now I'm in my front yard and for those who are new to the channel this hill, I have always put pine straw on it, and before that, I spray it with weed killer. I've done that since I've been in this house for the past 13 years, and the soil, I pretty much ruined the soil, and so I'm on a, a pesticide-free kick now, and to plant, these are all my pumpkins here. I have three different pumpkins planted that are all thriving. I dug a, a decent size hole, maybe a foot, foot and a half, something like that, uh, and just planted from seed. These are directly sown in here and they're really starting to look good. I've even got some that look like they're starting to flower. I haven't seen them opened up yet, but I don't know if they, they do that early in the morning like my cucumbers and spaghetti squash do in the back. Uh, and I forget about these sometimes. I water in the back and I go inside and mid-afternoon I'm like, oh yeah. Go out and check the mail and I realize, oh yeah, I haven't watered these in a couple of days. But they're really looking good. So um, what Susan and I were debating is, are they only thriving because of the little hole I dug to give them good soil? Or are they gonna dig into that rock hard clay and start stop growing? There's a lot of flowers starting to come up though. Um, let's see if we can get in here. I, they're too small to even tell if they're gonna be male or female yet. but. If I have three of them out here, hopefully they cross pollinate and everything will be good. But I'm really happy with, with how they're starting. I've been training them to go downhill more than across because I don't want them to come up on my walkway and then the, any deliveries have to step over them and deal with it. But there, there are a lot of plants on this too. The tendrils are, are so much thicker. Look, I don't know if I can get in here. This tendril is it's so much thicker than I've seen on uh, the stuff I have growing in the back. I don't know if that captures it on the camera as much. But they, you know, it makes sense. They're gonna be big fruits. Uh, so they need to have stronger tendrils. All right, that's it for me today. That's a quick garden tour, as quick as I can make it, as long winded as I get. Let me know if you have any tips for me, any suggestions, any comments, leave them below. And of course, if you can like and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And our channel is starting to grow. And with y'all's help, we will keep it rolling. Appreciate it, guys.